Electric vehicles, EVs, are racing ahead in popularity, offering a cleaner and more sustainable alternative to gasoline-powered cars. Yet, the journey to making EVs mainstream isn't without its speed bumps. One major roadblock is the cost and size of the electric motors that drive these vehicles. Traditional electric motors in EVs are often bulky and heavy, which can drag down a car's range and efficiency. Moreover, the manufacturing costs of these motors can make EVs more expensive than their gasoline counterparts. Enter GM with a game-changing solution, the innovative axial flux motor. This could be the breakthrough needed for smaller, more affordable EVs. But what exactly is an axial flux motor? And how has GM managed to develop this technology? Buckle up as we dive into the details. The Roadblock – Heavy and Costly Electric Motors Many companies have teased the release of electric roadsters and sports cars, but these sleek models have yet to make a grand entrance into the market. A major culprit – the hefty batteries that power these vehicles. But that's not the whole story. Before we even get to trimming down those lithium-ion batteries, there's another component we can optimize. The electric motor. Most of today's EVs are driven by radial flux motors. While they get the job done, their long, barrel-shaped design isn't ideal for the sleek and streamlined profiles desired in roadsters and sports cars. The Breakthrough – Axial Flux Motors This is where axial flux motors come in. Imagine a motor that's more like a frisbee than a barrel. Compact, flat, but still incredibly powerful. The secret lies in the arrangement of their magnets. In radial motors, the magnetic force travels perpendicular to the axis of rotation. In axial motors, however, the magnetic force runs parallel to the axis, allowing for a different, more compact shape without compromising on power. Why? This matters. The axial flux motor's compact design means it can fit more seamlessly into the slim, aerodynamic bodies of sporty EVs. This not only helps in designing better-looking cars, but also improves their performance and efficiency by reducing weight. Moreover, these motors could be cheaper to produce, potentially lowering the overall cost of EVs and making them more accessible to a broader audience. Just like electric vehicles, Axial flux motors have a long history, dating back to the early 1800s with Michael Faraday. However, it was Tim Wolmer who sparked renewed interest in the auto industry. Dr. Wolmer has been passionate about this concept for nearly two decades, ever since he wrote his PhD thesis. His research led to the development of the yokeless and segmented armature axial flux motor, which has since gained significant attention. In 2009, Dr. Wolmer founded Yasa to further develop this technology. The company quickly made strides in the industry, securing deals with various automakers to supply Yasa motors for electric vehicles. This success ultimately led to Yasa being acquired by Mercedes-Benz in 2021. The impact of Dr. Wolmer's work on axial flux motors cannot be overstated. His dedication and innovation have propelled this technology into the forefront of the automotive industry shaping the future of electric vehicles. The catch is that these axial flux motors have been tricky to mass produce, which is why they haven't taken off in the EV world. But thanks to the efforts of one company, it looks like these motors are finally ready to make their mark. Today's electric vehicles are powered by workhorses called radial flux motors. Think of them like donut-shaped electromagnets. A coiled wire stator surrounds a central rotor packed with permanent magnets. This design is efficient and reliable, but it has a flaw, size. To generate enough power for a car, these motors tend to be long and bulky. This is where axial flux motors come in, offering a potential game changer for electric vehicles, especially sporty ones. Imagine a motor shaped like a Frisbee, flat and compact yet just as powerful. That's the magic of axial flux motors. Instead of the magnetic force flowing radially like spokes in a wheel as in radial motors, it flows parallel to the spin like a record player. This allows for a completely different and much more compact design. As mentioned, building these flatter motors has been a hurdle preventing them from becoming mainstream in EVs. However, things are changing. 
companies like General Motors are leading the charge with innovative designs. One of their patents focuses on a concept called mechanical field weakening. This might sound complicated, but the idea is simple. Imagine a car with a regular automatic transmission. When you need to accelerate quickly, the transmission provides a lot of torque, twisting force, but the car doesn't reach super high speeds. As you gain speed, the transmission adjusts to provide less torque, but allows the car to reach higher speeds. This sweet spot is called the constant power zone. Let's talk about how mechanical field weakening could revolutionize electric motors. Think of an electric motor as a machine that converts electricity into twisting force, torque, and speed. Most permanent magnet motors have a natural trade-off between these two. You can have high torque for powerful acceleration, but that limits the top speed. Conversely, you can reach high speeds but with less pulling power. This relationship is often depicted as a bell curve, with a sweet spot in the middle where both torque and speed are balanced. The sweet spot is called the constant power zone. It's like having a car that can accelerate quickly and still reach high speeds without needing to constantly shift gears. Traditionally, achieving this in electric motors involved complex software and electronic controls called inverters. While this works, it can be inefficient, leading to some energy loss. Here's where mechanical field weakening comes in. Think of it like adjusting the distance between the engine and the wheels in a traditional car. In an electric motor, we can achieve a similar effect by physically changing the distance between the stator, the stationary part with the coils, and the rotor, the spinning part with the magnets. Imagine the stator as a magnet and the rotor as a piece of metal. The closer they are, the stronger the magnetic pull, resulting in high torque but lower speeds. As we move the stator further away, the magnetic pull weakens. This translates to less torque, but the rotor can now spin much faster with less resistance. It's like shifting gears but without the need for a complex transmission. We're simply changing the operating region of the motor to suit the situation. High torque for acceleration or higher speeds for cruising. This approach offers a few advantages. First, it's a simpler and more intuitive way to achieve the constant power zone. Second, it can be more efficient than relying solely on electronic controls. This is particularly important in places like Japan, where electric car enthusiasts compete in econo power races, aiming for maximum efficiency. By implementing mechanical field weakening, these racers can squeeze out every last drop of efficiency for a competitive edge. The concept of mechanical field weakening in axial flux motors is indeed simpler in theory, but it comes with its own set of challenges. Axial flux motors consist of two opposing discs with an air gap between them. When activated, these discs not only spin, but also exert a force trying to pull each other together due to their magnetic properties. At high torque ratings, the force attempting to bring the two plates together becomes extremely strong. Typically, a fixed bearing is used to keep them apart, but when implementing mechanical field weakening, the rotor and stator need to move actually to adjust the air gap while maintaining rigidity in their new positions. General Motors plans to address this challenge by utilizing a hydraulic system, which seems like a practical approach. By using hydraulic fluid, the gap can be narrowed to increase torque and reduce speed or widen to decrease torque and increase speed. While this approach may seem to incur additional cost, complexity, and effort, it's important to consider the advancements that automakers and suppliers have made in developing technologies such as automatic transmissions. In comparison, the implementation of mechanical field weakening in axial flux motors is relatively simpler, with promising implications for smaller and less powerful electric vehicles operating on lower voltage architectures. This technology could offer the benefit of achieving ample torque during acceleration and then widening the air gap to attain higher speeds. Additionally, smaller and lighter motors would become significantly more practical. The accompanying chart from the patent provides a clear illustration of how the available torque is reduced, but the range at which it can be applied expands. It's fascinating to think about the potential of a system that operates like a continuously variable transmission, CVT, for electric vehicle motors. The idea of continuously adjusting the air gap to tailor the motor's characteristics to different situations is quite innovative. 
While this technology is certainly intriguing, it may not be available for some time. It's more likely that the next generation of mass market electric vehicles will focus on incorporating more advanced battery technologies and making minor enhancements to radial flux motors. However, it's worth noting that when a company like GM is dedicating resources to developing axial flux technology, it suggests that they see a promising future in it.